Hey there, today we're talking about how to get sales rapid revenue into your local business. So if you're a local business owner, whether you're a service business or have a brick and mortar store, whatever that is, I've got two different examples I'm going to share with you. One is the brick and mortar. The other is service business. And it was a home service business. It's actually my story because I owned the home service business. And I used this as a go-to method whenever I wanted to make sales. For whatever reason, I did not implement it on a regular basis. I think because running that business, I was so busy running the business and doing day-to-day -day things. I just didn't think about this until I needed to inject sales. So if you need to inject sales, it's a great way to do it. It will not work for you if you're a brand new business. You need to have customers that you've dealt with before. So if you've been in business three, six months or more, then this will likely work for you. If you've been in business for a year, I'm sure it will work for you and uh, or, or more. Like I say, is you can go from a year on to infinity. This will work for you. And if you're smarter than me, you will apply this and do it on a regular basis because it just works every time it worked. So let me tell you exactly what it is. I, I just call it reactivation. So you're reactivating past customers. Past customers are the easiest ones to sell. They have already done business with you. They know who you are. They, If you did a good job for them, they like you. And they will do business again. There is a statistic 68% of people do not do business with a company a second time because of perceived indifference. And that means, to me that the companies just don't reach out. We're, we're always involved with the, the next customer, the next customer, and we tend to ignore the ones that we've already had. So reaching out to them really works well. But let me give you a story about the brick and mortar business. So this brick and mortar business winds up getting a letter from his landlord saying, going up on the rent, the guy just couldn't afford the difference. I don't know what the difference was. I don't know the store owner, but I do know the guy who helped him wound up you know going out of business but sold out his store in just a few days so what happened was like i said the guy didn't have the money to or didn't make enough money to keep in business and pay the rent that the landlord was asking so he starts going out of business and the guy that i know actually did business with him and went in and he sees this guy's got going out of business stuff around so he talks to the owner actually knew the owner but the owner didn't contact him previously and so he's talking to him and the guy says he's going out of business tells him why so the marketing guy says well let me look at your past customers let me get a list of those they uploaded it into facebook which doing that will actually let you advertise to people on facebook or instagram sent that ad out and the response was so overwhelming that the uh, owner told the guy, he said, I really wish I would have talked to you sooner. Um, you know, it's just another case of he didn't, he just didn't realize the gold that he had there in that list. That list really is gold. So let me tell you what happened to me because, like I said, I owned a home service business here in town. And with, if I started getting to where I needed business, and I saw there was a, a blank spot, you know, where I didn't have a project going, I would send out a letter to my existing businesses, and I didn't have a ton. I mean, I had, my list was 20, just over 20 people. So 20, say 21, 22 people. It was before, we did email, but we weren't dinosaurs. But it was really before that was very popular, and we didn't get so many, you know, for marketing purposes. But anyway, or I didn't use it for marketing purposes anyway. And again, I only had 21 or 22. It was pretty easy. I wrote letters. I printed the letter out, gave basically a little newsletter, told people, hey, I've got a spot at this point in time. If you're looking to have something done, let me know. I'll come out and take a look at it. Every, every time I sent that letter, like I said, it wasn't many, just over 20, Every time I sent that letter, I got a job. And I remember when this dawned on me that this was a remarkable advertising method. I mean, it cost me like 10 bucks and a little bit of time because I actually did 
the I did the mailing. I wrote the letter. I signed the letter. I licked the envelope. I put a stamp on it and I sent it. So when it dawned on me, though, was when I had, I sent that letter and within a week, I had a request for a $25,000 job. This was some time ago. But, I mean, a $25,000 job came out of a little $10, probably wasn't even that at the time, marketing campaign that I sent. And so this stuff works. I mean, if you're looking for business, really rapid revenue is what I call it. Talk to your existing customers. If you'd like some help with this, I am happy to help you. Reach out to me. Oh, I've got another one. If, by chance, you're a home service business and you're looking for more business and you'd like to use your warranty to leverage getting more sales with some existing customers, reach out to me. I have got an amazing method. I call it warranty profits, for lack of a better word, or better title, I guess. But it works great. And if you just reach out to me, message me, go to davidhawk.me. And you can contact me through there, shoot me an email, and just ask me for it. I'll send it to you for free. And it it works like crazy. It's amazing the business you'll get out of it. And you don't even have to really ask. You just, you're just doing your job and actually doing a favor for the customer as far as their warranty goes. So that said... I hope this video helps you. I hope it finds you well. And again, if you'd like some help with this stuff, I know Facebook can be kind of intimidating as far as ads and different things. So if you want to run ads like that, let me know. I'm happy to put that information in there and run those ads for you. And if you just want to discuss your business and some methods to leveraging what you're doing now to get more sales, I'm happy to help you there too. So just reach out. Like I said, davidhawk.me and it's h-a-w-k-e dot me and uh, go there go find me and uh, shoot me a message i'll talk to you soon i hope you enjoyed this video if you know anybody that it can help please send it to them share it with them however and uh, if you would give me a like or a comment talk to you soon thanks bye